sa Maynila hindi required. Hindi pilitan. Until the law requires it. But there is no law that state that it require an employee to be vaccinated a requirement ng employer. No. In fact, kaya nga ayaw ko ng face shield mo eh. <laughs> Kasi gastos lang yan eh. Sa Maynila, libre ang testing. Mamimili ka pa. Anim na ospital at drive-thru. At ito ay nakapaglingkod na sa humigit kumulang 200,000 na mamamayan ng lungsod at hindi tagal lungsod. Ibig sabihin, pati mga empleyado nakaka-avail ng libreng swap. It will stay that way. If corporations, businesses needs this, at lalo na kailangan ng mga tao, it will continue to be free. Second, with vaccination, huwag kayong magkalala sa Maynila. Sa amin sa Maynila, voluntaryo nagpapabakuna ang tao. And to state the fact, millions, no? 131% first dose, 122% second dose. More than what is required, which is 70%. And we will continue. And if I may share, uh, yung mga batang dose 17, out of 50,000 na pre-registered, as of last night, 40,000 na ang bakunado na 12 to 17. So we continue to vaccinate 18 above whenever they want to decide. And it will not be a requirement. I will not require people to get a job, to go to their jobs, to be vaccinated. This is democracy. I will respect their decision. I will respect their opinion. But if they are going to ask me, ang lagi ko suggestion, Vaccination is the solution. Magpabakuna tayo, bigyan natin ng added protection ang ating katawan. Dahil tayong mga naghahanap buhay ay umaasa sa atin ang mga, ng mga mahal natin sa buhay. So we will continue to vaccinate. And as we speak, ano na kami ngayon? Saturation drive. That's the exact word that we are doing right now. From a 40 to 47,000 a day, ang nababakunaan na lang namin isang bulig, dalawang bulig, o, tapos nakakonsentrate kami dahil marami kaming Pfizer na naitabi. Salamat sa national government at ito naman ibinabakuna namin sa mga anak ninyo.